Hello, welcome to BBC Newsline this lunchtime. Police say they've seen evidence of younger people preparing petrol bombs before an illegal dissident Republican parade in Londonderry. A van was set on fire and the PSNI said it was also aware of reports on social media that uh, petrol bombs had been thrown at journalists after the parade in the Cregan area. The event was organised by a group known as the Derry 1916 Committee, which is supported by the Siru organisation, which in turn has been linked to the new IRA. Elaine McGee reports. Central Drive in Cregan was much quieter this morning in stark contrast to scenes of disorder here on Easter Monday. Young people are seen here carrying crates of petrol bombs. Several hundred people marched through here yesterday in Cregan, led by about a dozen men dressed in paramilitary-style uniforms. After the van behind me was set alight, police advised motorists to avoid the area. This local priest says they were scenes the city does not want to see. The events that happened on Easter Monday uh, in the city cemetery and in the Cregan for the past number of years has been a source of controversy and indeed a source of heartbreak for um, the people of the area and indeed for all of us who you know, give the city a, a very bad name. The violence has been condemned from across the political spectrum. We absolutely condemn any violence that took place in the streets of Cregan yesterday and it expressed solidarity with the journalists that were attacked others who had property destroyed and the Cregan community at large who once again have suffered at the hands of a small number determined to cause disruption and destruction. The DUP MLA for Foyle says the police operation was a difficult one. Well, the police always have a difficult job in policing these parades because they're trying to find the balance between protecting life and upholding law and order. And we need to see now people brought before the courts. The PSNI has said they will now review footage from their evidence-gathering operation. Elaine McGee, BBC Newsline, Derry.